Hi and welcome. This is the first series in a tutorial about working faster in After Effects so you can get more stuff done in basically less time. So first let's start scripts. Uh, we're going to use scripts to work faster in After Effects. So the first script I'm going to explain to you is Array. Basically it's a cloning tool for After Effects like the cloning tool in Cinema 4D. Uh, you can get it at ascripts.com pay 20 bucks or zero because it's name your own price second script will be sorty uh, same principle name your own price this one actually is a sorting script that sorts layer in a particular order but we'll explain later uh, how to how to install scripts uh, you go to program files adobe adobe after effects support files scripts scripts ui panels Drag and drop your uh, JSX bins in here. Uh, after that, start up After Effects, go to a window, and then you'll see your installed scripts. Oh, whoops. Okay, so uh, first time you start a script, it will actually look something like. Let me show you. Dock panel. Something like this, but when you. Drag the left corner, you can dock it anywhere you want. So let's dive in. New composition. Uh, I assume you all know the basics of After Effects, so I'll try and explain what I'm doing and say the shortcuts out loud, but forgive me if I go a bit too fast. Uh, so Control Y for a new solid, which makes a new solid. Let's make it 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Hit OK. So we have a nice solid. Uh, let's just put it somewhere around here, doesn't matter. So uh, first I'll explain the array tool. Uh, what it does is it clones layers or compositions in a particular set that you give in. So you can fill in like uh, five copies, so we'll have six layers in total. First thing you can clone offset is the scale, so when we hit like one, one, uh, one, so that's uh, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, so the z not necessary because it's not a 3D layer. Now it will clone this layer with an offset of 101%. But we want to do the position. Uh, this one is the opacity, just fill in the first tab. Uh, next is position, which is uh, position offsets, amount is in pixels. Next is the rotation. Rotation offset is in degrees, and the last one is anchor point. Offset is also in pixels. Uh, let's start with the x axis. Uh, so for position, the solid is 100, and 100 pixels. So if you fill in 110 pixels, we'll have 10 pixels in between each layer. Hit create, and we have six layers in total. Control A, select all layers. Delete this one. And then for the uh, y-axis, we do the same. So 110 pixels. Control A just to move them around. So now we have a nice grid. Awesome. Uh, now, the fun stuff. The cool thing about Array is it actually copy and pastes the keyframes in the, the base layer, but it also offsets the position to match with these offsets so uh, pretty quick I'll make an animation so P for position create a keyframe put it in around one second then X Y hold shift for bigger differences when dragging so put it somewhere here and hmm. something went wrong doesn't matter put it in somewhere around here then Copy this keyframe so it's still for one second, and then in another second it disappears off screen. Uh, Run preview. Yeah, basic ugly animation. Maybe select these two keyframes, hit F9 for ease and ease out. Preview again. Well, that's a bit better. Okay, so I'm going to uh, cut the layer at the end. So Control Shift D, split layer, delete, deletes. Select this layer, uh, start over, so create on the y-axis, 
throw away. And 110 on the x axis. Create. Control A. Now, hmm. Stupid. I have to move all these squares without interfering with the keyframe. So I'll show you this trick. So, with all uh, solids selected, we have to select all these keyframes. So, Control A selects all layers, hit U to see all keyframes, go down, select all the keyframes. Now the important part is that the time indicator is on a keyframe. Oh, come on. Right, so again, it's like all keyframes. So the important thing is that this thingy is on a keyframe and now we can just move around these guys. without interfering with the keyframe. So, ramp preview, and we've got a nice block of our grid moving in and out of the picture. Now, uh, control A, minimize. Let me just duplicate this composition. So I'll name this test one. Control D in the project manager. Yeah, test is okay. So we've got two perfect sets of these layers moving in and out. So uh, select all these layers, right click, sequence layers, which is under keyframe assistance, sequence layers. So our animation is about three seconds. So I'm gonna have overlap. Uh, let's say the overlap is two seconds, uh, 27 frames. So we have uh, two frames overlap. So, review the animation. Now we've got a grid offsetting in and out. Now, the grid starts to build from bottom to top. So, let's say we don't want that. We want left to right or right to left or stuff like that. We go into our other composition, select all layers. For this, we have our sorting layer tool called Sorty. So we've got three basic tabs, which is uh, the perimeter on which we want to sort these layers. So we can sort on position, anchor point position, rotation, scale, opacity, name, source name, in and point, out point, source time, all these things. So uh, you can experiment with these, but what we're going to do is make an animation from left to right. So position, sort over the x-axis. Uh, Ascending and then hit this play button like this and normally when we select our layers we should have first yeah going from right to left so if we want the animation to go from left to right we start with the bottom layer then hold shift select the top layer hit Keyframe assistant, sequence layer, same time offset, hit OK. So now, more we'll wrap review. First left to the right. Now let me undo this real quick and show you how to do right to left. So select the top layer first, go to the bottom. Again, keyframe assistant, sequence layers, hit OK. We go from right to left. Pretty cool. So let me show you just one more thing. Make a new composition. I should hit Control N. It's okay. Okay. Make a new solid. So Control Y. Make it maybe a bit wider. So 20 by 200 pixels. Hit OK. So let's say we want to make a circle of layers. What we have to do is move this solid up, then take the pen behind tool, go over to the anchor point, drag it down, hold shift so we only use the Y axis. This should be pretty center. Okay. Now, Select the layer, 
go to array, uh, let's say we want 12 clones, well 12 layers in total, so 11 clones extra, so that's 11 plus 1. Go to rotation in the first step. Uh, so we have 12 layers in total divided by 360 degrees, which is a circle, gives us, let me think, 30 degrees. Hit OK or create. Now we've got a nice circle. Now, let's say we want the solids to rotate around their own axis. Problem is, we move the anchor point. So when we rotate, the circle rotates around the center point. We don't want that. So deselect, actually select all layers, and then go to layer, transform. Center anchor point and layer content, well, it basically does what it says it does. So it centers the anchor point and the layer content. Now when we hit rotate, they rotate around their own axis. Pretty cool. So let me just really make a quick animation, make a keyframe, four seconds, turn it around like 360 degrees. All right, maybe just to make it interesting, create a new Null object, control A, shift, uh, control click the null point, parent all these guys to the null point, and just rotate the null point. Like, uh, I don't know, 180 degrees. Now, preview. Basic animation. Alright, that was it, guys. Just wanted to show you how powerful uh, scripts can be. Uh, I really uh, advise you to download Array and Sorty. Uh, once you get used to them, you'll find yourself using them quite a lot. So, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.